Today, I will be explaining Backrooms Level 73, and I will be showing you the reasons why you should never, ever, 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 ever stop running the second you get here. Because if you do, you're, you're probably not going to be alive anymore. I know you all will really enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to leave a like for Brugmas. And without further ado, let's get into the explanation of Backrooms Level 73 and find out why it's so dangerous, shall we? Level 73 of the Backrooms, or the Redlands, as it's been nicknamed, is a level that is extremely dangerous, and I cannot state that enough. It is extremely dangerous. It's been given a class 5 difficulty for being unsafe and unsecure, and infested with scary entities. And I'll get into all the entities later on. In fact, the first single line on this document says, quote, do not go searching for level 73, end quote. But let me tell you all about it anyway, so you can figure out why you should never search for it. The levels article was written and uploaded from deep inside a castle that's located in the middle of this level. The people that wrote the article, they ventured through the various parts of this level to get to their current location, so they have pretty decent knowledge of what the level looks like and the dangers that lie within, and their description of what the level looks like is what I'll be going over in this video. Level 73 is the 74th level inside the backrooms. It's most commonly known amongst wanderers as the Redlands because of its dark, red-stained grass and sky features. The level takes place on some sort of island with a large ocean surrounding it. The island as of right now is the only accessible and searched through part of the level since the ocean part around it has not been explored yet, apparently the water should not be touched or entered at all due to deadly aquatic anomalies. But the island part of the level is so hard to explore and it's just a very volatile place to be, mainly due to the entities that call this place home. The island itself is a dark red grassy island in the shape of a large circle. Scattered across the island along the red grass are trees and small shrubs that look dead and decayed. The trees and the grass and the shrubs all are circling the island and in the middle of this circle is a large stone castle. Now the entity density on this level is estimated to be one entity per 35 square feet. Let me repeat that one thing every 35 feet so pretty much there's going to be constantly entities around you somewhere in your eyesight but i'm sure you're asking you know what kind of creatures actually live here why is it so dangerous there are smilers death moths clumps dullers hounds and skin stealers and camo crawlers even death rats have been seen jumping through the grass these are the most commonly reported ones but those are just to name a few there are also strange unknown creatures that have been documented to be here like strange tall skinny humanoids that run ridiculously fast like 50 miles an hour and just snatch up wanderers without even seeing what they are again no idea what they are, but now you know about them. Obviously, all those entities are dangerous in their own right, so when you get sent to this level, the second your feet hit the ground, you need to run as fast as you can through the field to get to the castle. Level 73 is pretty much in a perpetual state of darkness, and there's no day or night cycle whatsoever. The only light you actually have here is a full moon that casts this reddish glow across the cloudy sky. The moon itself never moves and never changes in its light intensity, giving the sky this fake, uncanny type of vibe. Now right under what I just said, there's a sentence that states this. You do not want to use an artificial light source and that you do not want to see at all until you get to the doors of the castle. And I'm sure as you can tell, being on an island with entities, you don't want to turn a flashlight on because that would just signal that you're there. Like a moth to a flame, you know, they would just run at you and devour you. But I love how it says you do not want to see because that's, that's so scary, you know? If you can't see, then I'm sure the entities can't see as well. But the second you turn that flashlight on, they'll swarm you and they can see you. So like I said, you get here, your feet hit the ground, you sneak around and run in a straight line until you get to that castle. The silhouette of the castle is visible the second you get here, it's shrouded in that reddish moonlight glow. And it is imperative that you do not deviate or move from a straight line and that you do not stop running because of the entities. 
when and more likely if you do reach the doors of the castle you need to bang on them as loud as you can and then it'll like automatically open up for you it's unknown if the castle is an entity itself or if it just has sentience or somebody's watching we don't know the castle has been named the silver castle and it is the only known building on this red island the way it was built or who made it is unknown but it's a rather expansive gothic style castle that is fully furnished and fully lit with candles and stuff like that the castle has cold stone hallways and rooms with beds and huge halls and that kind of thing and overall it's pretty lavishly decorated for being in the middle of an entity infested island it even has a main dining hall and these six huge bedroom areas there are three floors to the castle and an attic area, all of which are accessible except the attic. And that's because a level exclusive creature made that area off limits. But I'll talk about that in a second. There are windows that look out to the island from inside the castle, but the article says do not look outside in big bold letters. So I'm assuming you should listen to that. There are fresh water wells and barrels of food and grains located in the kitchen area here, and overall it seems to be a place that you can stay for a while and relax, even though there's you know horrifying things happening outside. You can chill inside here. Now that level exclusive entity that I mentioned lives inside this castle, and its name is Koran or Koran or Corin. C-O-R-A-N is how it's spelled. He is a large entity in a humanoid shape that is very muscular. He has thick black hair and two two horn-like appendages sticking out of his head. One of his arms is gone, and in its place is a chain that is just shoved into his stub, which sounds pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. He's very nice to wanderers, and he seems to be a protector in a way. Now, in a morbid twist of fate, he's missing both his eyes due to a large scratch across his face that he got from fighting off an entity. So instead, he wears a black bandana around the missing eyes. Apparently, his goal is to eradicate all entities on this level, which is pretty cool, but I think somebody might need to help bro out. I mean, it's like one versus 5,000 right now. I don't know if he's doing very effective stuff. If you want to enter this horrific level for some reason, whether you're crazy, whether you lost your mind, or whether you just want to put this level as a notch on your belt, some have reported being on level 14 or level 6 and no clipping into this field here, randomly. But remember, if you do no clip into the field, you have to run in a straight line to the castle. And do not hesitate, do not deviate, run. And to exit, this is where it gets pretty sad because you simply cannot. There has not been an exit found, and I'm sure if someone finds it, they'll, they'll put it on the website, but as of right now, you either will get consumed by the Entity Horde, or you will live out your days in the castle. So yeah, I thought this level was a very well-written Entity Infestation. Normal levels that are like this with a bunch of entities are typically kind of cringy and not well-written, but I actually really like the vibe and this like gothic theme to this one. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you do. Thank you so much for your support. Hope y'all are liking Brugmas. Make sure that you comment what other videos you want me to make. And with all that said, I will see you tomorrow with the next level. Peace and love, man. <laughs>